Hello and welcome to this edition of the EV Revolution Show. My name is Kenneth Bacor, your host. Hey, Happy New Year. Hope everybody's doing okay. Hope everybody had a great holiday season. Thanks for taking the time to tune in. This is a special show that I'm going to kick the year off. What to expect in 2022 as far as EVs go. Now, we know that 2021 was a banner year for EVs, especially all electrics. Now, final numbers are not in yet. However, the global plug-in market is poised to finish 2021 exceeding 6 million units, up from 3.1 million for all of 2020. Now, that should make the market share for plug-ins at about 8 to 9 percent globally, with the vast majority of these vehicles being all electrics. This is all to say that 2021 was a huge year for the shift toward electric transportation. And we can thank not only Tesla for continuing to lead the way in EV sales, but also most of the other major OEMs for announcing, and in many cases, starting deliveries of new models to consumers. Now, I keep saying that more choice is needed in order to expand EV adoption, and we should expect 2022 to be an even bigger year as appetite for zero-emission cars grows, Production accelerates and more options hit the market. For 2022, consumers will be able to choose from more electric options than ever before. Tesla may be the dominant electric car firm today, but it's hardly the only player to watch. Giants like Ford, Volkswagen and Toyota all plan to unleash a tidal wave of new EVs in 2022 and beyond. Now, for example, the number of electric options in the U.S. alone should double from the roughly 20 that are currently available today to around 40 by the end of this year. Now, crucially, consumers will have an easier time finding an electric car that fits their lifestyle and budget than ever before. And this should drive EV adoption. Now, up until recently, the EV curious essentially had their pick of a pricey Tesla or a small hatchback. But over the next few years, buyers will be able to browse an expanding range of battery-powered pickup trucks and SUVs, body styles that have been sorely missing from the electric market despite being precisely the types of vehicles Americans, Canadians, and many other markets crave. Now, in order for EVs to generate even more success than they have had so far, they need to first and foremost be in a vehicle type that the consumer wants. A consumer who needs a pickup truck is not going to settle for a hatchback electric vehicle for the sake of electricity. But 2022 won't come without headwinds. This year's supply chain snarls wreaked havoc across the auto sector, hitting everyone from Tesla to GM. The ongoing computer chip shortage or unexpected spikes in the cost of raw materials could hamper EV manufacturing in the near term, which of course would affect inventory and deliveries of these new EVs. EV market share should reach double digits in 2025 and hit roughly 31% by the end of this decade, according to IHS Market. All right, so... What do we expect to see in 2022? Let me give you a rundown. And I'm going to talk about electric vehicles expected to arrive in 2022, primarily for the North American and European markets. So sit back and enjoy. The Audi Q6 e-tron and the Q6 e-tron Sportback. Now the Audi Q6 e-tron will be the first of the four ring brand's second midsize electric SUV to roll off the assembly line in 2022. It is expected to replace the Audi e-tron and it will be one of Volkswagen Group's first models to ride on the Porsche Audi co-developed PPE platform, which is a dedicated EV architecture. It will support an 800 volt charging system and provide up to 592 horsepower of power and 373 miles of right now stated WLTP range. BMW iX xDrive 50. An all electric sports activity vehicle is what BMW calls this. With a starting MSRP of 82,300 US, the iX promises dual motor all wheel drive delivering 516 horsepower, a zero to 60 miles per hour in about four and a half seconds, and 300 miles of range. 
It can also recoup up to 90 miles of range in just 10 minutes of DC fast charging. The BMW iX xDrive 50 is expected to arrive in Europe shortly, followed by the North American market in March of this year. BMW i7 BMW Group's biggest EV debut this year will be the BMW i7, the pure electric sibling of the next-gen BMW 7 Series. The full-size electric sedan will compete with the Mercedes EQS and the Tesla Model S. Reports suggest that the BMW i7 will come in eDrive 45 single-motor rear-wheel drive and eDrive 50 dual-motor all-wheel drive and even M60 dual motor all wheel drive variants. Expect an 80 kilowatt hour battery pack with a 120 kilowatt hour option and the former offering approximately 311 miles of range and the latter anywhere from 404 to 435 miles of range based on WLTP. Cadillac Lyric. This will be the first electric vehicle to debut for the marquee brand and will sit upon GM's BEV3 platform. MSRP pricing will also start just below 60K at about 58,795 US. As a result, the Lyric sold out in just 19 minutes when it went on sale earlier or later in 2021. Initial deliveries of the Lyric in North America are expected to begin this March. The Canoe Lifestyle Vehicle. With multiple electric vehicles already unveiled and planned through to 2023, Canoe's lifestyle vehicle will be the first to arrive for the company. Canoe describes its lifestyle vehicle as, quote unquote, a loft on wheels. The interior features 188 cubic feet of volume and seating for two to seven, surrounded by panoramic glass and a street view front window for the driver. Starting at an MSRP of about 34750 the lifestyle vehicle will come available in four different packages to suit a multitude of needs, from the delivery trim to the loaded adventure version. All promise at least 250 miles of range and are available for pre-order with a $100 deposit. The lifestyle vehicle is expected to launch in late 2022. Chevrolet Silverado Electric GM could steal the Ford F-150 Lightning's Thunder if it gets its first mainstream all-electric pickup truck right, the Chevrolet Silverado Electric. The company could employ its new 342 horsepower rear and front drive permanent magnetic motor. The battery pack capacity could be more than 100 kilowatt hours, which could be enough to offer a range EPA of about 300 miles. The Chevrolet Silverado Electric will celebrate its world debut at the upcoming CES 2022 show. Chrysler Electric SUV Stellantis should unveil the Chrysler Electric SUV later this year, inspired by FCA's unbranded Airflow Vision concept. It should be a Stellantis or what they call an STLA large platform-based premium electric SUV going up against the Tesla Model Y. The company has already teased what looks like a near production concept and it has promised new details in the coming months and they may even start deliveries of a production model before the year is out. Citroen EC3 The Citroen C3 for emerging markets will have a pure electric variant called the EC3. It could arrive in Europe as a Dacia Spring Challenger. Expect it to come in 30 and 40 kilowatt hour battery pack variants, with a front electric motor generating around 60 or 80 horsepower, depending on the configuration. The highest possible WLTP range could be about 155 miles, so this will be targeted as an urban commuter vehicle. Fisker Ocean. Following its debut at the 2021 LA Auto Show, we were able to see the Ocean up close and learn about its three pricing tiers and unique technologies, such as a solar roof on the Ocean Extreme trim. The front-wheel drive 250-mile range Ocean Sport starts at just 37,499. Now, given the current federal tax credit in the U.S., those who qualify for the full amount could get an Ocean for under $30,000. 
a huge selling point for consumers. And with Magna's help, the Ocean Electric vehicles are slated to arrive this November. Ford F-150 Lightning Now I personally think 2022 will be the year of the electric pickup truck, and the leader in this segment is Ford. Their F-150 Lightning has the makings to be the most popular electric vehicle in 2022, and 2023, and potentially for the next foreseeable future, at least in North America that is. If sales of the electrified version are saying anything like the gasoline F-Series, which by the way has been the best-selling pickup truck in the U.S. for 44 years, Ford will need to work to keep up with demand for the Lightning especially since the Lightning has already achieved over 200,000 reservations, none of which include commercial customers. Given Ford's shares plans for Lightning production, it's already sold out into 2024. The Lightning comes with 230 miles of standard range, home charging, and the ability to charge other EVs at level 2 speeds. Ford recently announced that they have already multiplied its Lightning production to meet demand, and the EV isn't even out yet. The commercial model of the 2022 Lightning starts at an MSRP of $39,974 and goes up from there with features like the 300-mile extended battery. According to Ford, its sales books open in January of 2022, followed by Lightning production and deliveries beginning in the spring, Hold on to your hats, folks, for this one. Genesis GV60 To help kick off its new electric vehicle transition in 2022 is the GV60, Genesis' first dedicated EV model which will sit on the Hyundai Motor Group's eGMP platform. This crossover utility vehicle has estimated ranges starting at 280 miles, followed by 249 and 229 miles for the all-wheel drive trims, all coming from a 77.4 kWh battery pack. Pricing for the GV60 has not yet been released by Genesis, but the company has stated the electric vehicle is scheduled to arrive this spring. Genesis GV70 And staying with Genesis, their electrified GV70 is a mid-size electric SUV competing with the likes of the BMW iX3, the Mercedes EQC, and the Tesla Model Y. It features a 77.4 kWh battery pack and two motors generating a combined power of around 483 horsepower and a combined torque of up to 516 pound-feet. This model supports 350 kilowatts of ultra-fast charging, and rumor has it that the electrified GV70 would be the first Genesis model and the first EV from Hyundai Motor Group made in the United States. Expect the North American launch to take place in the first half of this year with possible production before the end of it. GMC Hummer EV Pickup GM has some catching up to do in the electric vehicle deliveries for to in 2022 and they will try with the Hummer EV. Now, while the most affordable version of the new Hummer is not slated to roll out until 2024, customers can expect the more expensive and decked out versions in 2022 and 2023. GM's Edition 1 Hummer Electric, costing over $110,000 US, recently began rolling out to first customers. Those versions sold out in 10 minutes last year, and the specs are impressive so far, including features like crab walking, Expect to see the Hummer EV pickup in the fall of this year, starting at an MSRP of $99,995. GMC Sierra Electric Pickup The first GMC Electric Pickup could debut as a concept at CES, and it could be the upmarket version of the Chevrolet Silverado for the North American market. The GMC Sierra Electric Pickup truck should get GM's third-gen global EV platform and Altium EV technologies. Similarly, expect it to come in retail and fleet versions. With a battery pack potentially as large as over 100 kilowatt hours, it could offer more than 400 miles of range. GM has released a teaser of the first GMC electric pickup, indicating an imminent official debut. The company has confirmed that this model will be available only in the Denali trim. Hyundai Ionic 5 The Ionic 5 is the 
first EV from Hyundai under its new all-electric Ionic sub-brand and the first to debut on the group's new eGMP platform. Part of the appeal of the Ionic 5 is its wide body and long wheelbase, making for one of the largest interior volumes in its class, besting the Mach-E and the VW ID4. What might be the largest selling point for this electric crossover vehicle in 2022, however, is its pricing. I recently did a review episode on it and mentioned the starting pricing for under $40,000 US, going up to $55,000 for the top spec trim. The Onyx 5 has been on sale in Europe for a good chunk of 2021, but it is just starting to roll out here in North America, and I think they will sell as many as they can make. Hyundai Ionic 6 The Hyundai Ionic 6 is the brand's most crucial launch this year. A zero-emission alternative to the Hyundai Sonata within their lineup, the Hyundai Ionic 6 will lock horns with the globally popular Tesla Model 3 and China's Xping P5. Design a la Ionic 5 with pixelated headlights and taillights, a Porsche-esque coupe-style silhouette, 350 kilowatt ultra fast charging capability, virtual mirrors, and an illuminated grille should be among its highlight features. The top end Ionic 6 should employ two motors that generate 308 horsepower and get their energy from a 77.4 kilowatt hour battery pack. Expect a WLTP range of approximately 311 miles when it is available in the second half of the year. Kia EV6 Hyundai Group sibling the Kia EV6 will be the third electric vehicle to arrive in 2022 on the eGMP platform and represents the start of Kia's shift towards an all-electric lineup. The Kia EV6 has gotten some rave reviews and an early demand out of the gate. Kia recently shared that this electric vehicle will have up to 310 miles of range. Now for pricing, no official word from Kia yet, but it seems like the EV6 is expected to start at an MSRP of about $45,000 US and go up from there. Now, regardless of where those official prices actually land, all trims of the EV6 are expected to go on sale in North America early this year. Kia Niro EV. Now the Kia Niro EV has undergone a full model change, entering its second generation. It looks bolder and funkier, and it draws references from the 2019 Habanero concept with a contemporary interior that is clearly inspired by the EV6. Kia has yet to reveal technical specs, but it is safe to assume that the 2022 Nero EV is also a front-wheel drive only model. However, expect a punchier motor that provides better power and torque. Currently, the maximum possible power and torque figures are 201 and 200 uh, horsepower and 291 uh, foot-pounds of torque. The 2021 e Nero uses a 64 kilowatt hour battery pack that provides a range of about 239 miles, so we should see Kia increase the range to hopefully around 250 miles of EPA estimate on this 2022 model. Lexus RZ The Lexus LFZ electrified concept has evolved into a production electric SUV called the Lexus RZ or RZ. Lexus is predicting a range of 373 miles and a 0 to 100 kilometer or 0 to 62 miles per hour acceleration time of just three seconds for its first EV. One of the main talking points of this model could be the combination of a steering yoke and a steer by wire system. The Lexus, the Lexus RZ will arrive in showrooms later this year and more info should come out soon. Lucid Air Pure. There are three separate trims of Lucid Motors' flagship air sedan slated to arrive this year, but the pure version could be the one to truly boost the luxury EV automaker's sales numbers. The top-tier Dream Edition trim of the air began rolling off assembly lines at Lucid's Amp 1 facility this past October, and deliveries of the 520 planned vehicles have been underway since. Now, while consumers should see Grand Touring and Touring trims arrive in 2022, it's the $77,400 US Pure that should garner most of the future sales. Sure, it's still an expensive EV, 
but it's about $90,000 less than the current errors on the road. The Air Pier comes with 406 miles of estimated range and 480 horsepower. The Lucid Air Pier is expected to arrive sometime this year. Mazda MX-30 With a lot of first ever EVs from automakers, 2022 could very well be the year of the electric vehicle. This trend continues with Japanese automaker Mazda, whose upcoming MX-30 will arrive at an MSRP of $33,470 US, but with some concessions. Factor in potential federal, state, and local incentives in the United States, and drivers might see that price down into the mid $20,000 range. Now, however, that cost won't still justify the MX-30's low range for some consumers, as its 35.5 kilowatt hour battery pack only delivers 100 miles of range. Still, the MX-30 is an anticipated electric vehicle in 2022 because those drivers privy to their daily range needs and tax incentive qualifications could be able to drive off in an adequate vehicle at a significantly lower cost than many of its competitors. Plus, it's nice to see a Japanese company delivering electric vehicles. Now, as I said in my review, I don't expect Mazda to provide many units for North America, but at least they are now in the game. And the MX-30 is available now. Mercedes-Benz EQB Like the Genesis GV60, the Mercedes EQB is on sale globally, but not in North America yet. This market launch will take place later this year. Now, the Mercedes EQB will be one of the most affordable seven-seat electric SUVs, although a five-seat version will be available for those who don't need the extra row of seats. With a standard 66.5 kilowatt hour battery pack, the EQB offers a WLTP range of just 260 miles. Its EPA estimate range could even be lower. Now, two motors generating 225 horsepower and 288 horsepower um, and 288 pound-feet or 384 pound-feet of torque will be available. Mercedes-Benz EQE. Mercedes-Benz has already begun bringing EV options uh, offerings to its fleets with the new EQ line of vehicles, of course, starting with the luxurious EQS. In North America, in 2022, the EQS will be joined by an EQB SUV, as I mentioned, and the EQE, a smaller electrified version of the former. The mid-size sedan will arrive with a 90 kilowatt hour battery pack offering about 410 miles of range and 292 horsepower from a single motor positioned as wheel-wheel drive. Pricing is not yet available on the EQE, but Mercedes-Benz has stated that it will arrive sometime this year. Mercedes-Benz EQS SUV. The Mercedes EQS SUV will break cover most likely in the first half of this year. Digital headlights, M bucks hyperscreen, automatically opening comfort doors, rear axle steering, and augmented reality heads-up display should be its key features. Expect the top-end configuration to boast dual motors with up to 536 horsepower and 107.8 kilowatt-hour battery pack. The most range-focused configuration will be able to travel about 373 miles on WLTP test cycle. Mercedes-Benz plans on building these models in the U.S. Mercedes-Benz EQT. And the last of my Mercedes autos for this segment is the EQT, and it will be an all-electric small passenger van offering a classier styling and more premium equipment compared to the Mercedes Citan for the European market. Previewed by the Mercedes Concept EQT, the pure electric variant of the first ever Mercedes T-Class is likely to have a 44 kilowatt hour battery pack and a 100 horsepower, 180 foot pound motor spinning the front wheels. The WLTP range could be between 160 and 180 miles. And similar to the Citan, the EQT is a modified Renault Kangoo E-Tech and is to be manufactured at the same French facility. Nissan Aria. Nissan was an early celebrity in EV production and is one of the global automakers to join the UN-backed Race to Zero campaign, 
which aims to be 100% electric by the early 2030s. That journey begins with the area crossover. This past fall, the area officially launched in the U.S. opening reservations at a starting MSRP of about $46,000. It will come in four trim variants, each with an 87 kilowatt hour battery, three of which are front wheel drive. The estimated ranges vary from 265 to 300 miles, and North American deliveries of the area are expected to begin in the fall of this year. Polestar 3. Polestar revealed it was working on its third EV, an SUV that would be built and sold specifically for the North American market. Hey, we do love our SUVs, right? We know the Polestar 3 will debut on a new generation of EV architecture designed from the floor up by Volvo Cars Group and will be built around aerodynamic electric performance. Unfortunately, no other specs have been shared at this time, but will be revealed at a later date and the Polestar 3 is expected to enter production sometime in 2022. Porsche Macan EV The Porsche Macan EV will debut this year as the brand's smallest electric SUV. It will share the PPE platform and many components with the Audi Q6 e-tron. It will be the first Porsche to use not only the PPE vehicle platform, but also an Android automotive OS based software platform called E1.2. Expect two motors generating as much as over 670 horsepower in its top-of-the-line performance variant. The WLTP range could be more than 373 miles. However, it seems the market launch of the Macan EV is set in early 2023, so we'll see if they can bring this in to this year. Rivian R1S Rivian did start deliveries of their R1T pickup truck in late 2021, as well as deliver their very first R1S SUV to their CEO. They've reported they have over 71,000 pre-orders for both of these models from the U.S. and Canada and vow to ramp up production for 2022. Now, the Rivian R1S is the SUV version of its flagship R1T, the first all-electric pickup to reach the market, it features many of the same unique features of the R1T, but with more interior volume. The initial launch editions of the R1S recently began delivering, as I mentioned, at the end of December. But two lower cost trims of the SUV are on the docket for this year. And that includes both the Adventure and the Explorer packages, each offering an EPA estimated 316 miles of range. Delivery times will vary depending on the trim and add-ons you choose on the R1S, but expect to see many more on the roads and trails in 2022. SAIC Maxxis MIFA 9 MPV The Maxxis MIFA 9 is a full-size electric MV MPV that accommodates up to seven people to travel together in luxury, style, and absolute comfort. With a standard 90 kilowatt hour battery pack, the MIFA 9 can provide a range of 323 miles on a full charge. SAIC has confirmed that it will launch the MIFA 9 in the UK, Norway, and various other European markets later this year. Skoda Enyaq Coupe 4 The Skoda Enyaq Coupe 4, as its name suggests, will be the coupe version of the Enyaq 4 that went on sale earlier this year. It will feature a sportier and more aerodynamic exterior design. Its drag coefficient will be lower than that of the Enyaq 4. And Skoda will offer the Enyaq Coupe 4 with a 50 kilowatt hour battery pack and also a 77 kilowatt hour battery pack option, providing 201 horsepower for the single motor variant and 261 horsepower for the dual motor powertrain. The coupe version will be able to travel on the WLTP cycle more than 332 miles. The Enyaq Coupe 4 will debut at the end of this month on January 31st. Sanyong Corando E-Motion The Sanyong digitally unveiled the Corando E-Motion earlier this year, but the model is yet to go on sale. A conversion of the latest Corando the Corando E-Motion electric SUV uses a 61.5 kilowatt-hour battery pack and a 188 horsepower motor. 
with a WLTP range of just 211 miles, it should appeal mainly to customers with short-range driving needs like daily commuting. While Sanyang was planning a U.S. launch earlier, its current financial conditions don't indicate that will happen anytime soon. So regardless, the Corando eMotion specs seem non-competitive for its wide-scale acceptance in the U.S. market, and thus it will go on sale in Europe very shortly. Subaru Solterra Subaru is another to join the electric vehicle market in 2022 with its upcoming Solterra SUV. It will arrive with an estimated EPA 250 mile range based on its 71.4 kWh battery, which Subaru claims can deliver 285 miles based on WLTC cycle standard. Although pricing has yet to be released, the Solterra is expected to begin shipping mid-2022. Tesla Cybertruck Initially due to arrive in 2021, Tesla has confirmed that the Cybertruck has officially been delayed to 2022. Tesla has over $80 billion in pre-orders already in place, and some of the new prototypes have emerged complete with four motors, four-wheeled steering, and crab mode. Hmm, this sounds familiar. Tesla has removed all specs and pricing from its Cybertruck configurator online. However, the latest info from Elon states that production is scheduled to begin in late 2022. So keep watching this one, and I really hope that they can keep to this schedule. Toyota BZ4X Prior to 2022, Toyota has been one of the few global automakers dragging its heels on EV production. It has committed to some electric vehicles in 2022, and one of which is its BZ4X electric SUV, part of the company's new Beyond Zero lineup of vehicles. The BZ4X should have an estimated 250 mile range on its front wheel drive version. Pricing hasn't been released yet, but the electric SUV is expected to arrive in North America in the middle half of this year. US built VW ID4. The Volkswagen ID.4 will get cheaper in North America in the second half of 2022, or so we hope, as these units will come from the local factory in Chattanooga, Hamilton County, Tennessee, instead of the German plant in Zwickau. Volkswagen aims to reduce the base price of the ID.4 from 39,995 US to around $35,000 US with localization. U.S. production of the ID.4 are, is scheduled to begin this June, so customer deliveries could start before the end of the summer. Volkswagen ID.5 The ID.5 is the latest offering from the Volkswagen Group and its ID family of all electric vehicles. It will include single rear-wheel drive and dual-motor all-wheel drive versions on the automaker's proprietary MEB platform. Volkswagen has yet to confirm the exact range or price of any versions of the ID.5, but it should arrive in the UK and EU following pricing news and start sale in early this year, then show up in North America later on. So we'll have to wait and see. Volkswagen ID Buzz. With the VW ID Buzz, Volkswagen will reinvent the iconic VW Microbus. VW Bully for the 21st century. Arriving just in time for when families are ready to venture out freely following the tough COVID-19 pandemic restrictions, well, hopefully we can get out soon. The VW ID Buzz will be a charismatic all-electric van available in passenger and commercial versions. Expect battery packs as large as 100 plus kilowatt hours, enough to offer a WLTP range of around 311 miles. VW has teased that its ID Buzz electric minibus would be making an appearance by the end of this year, so we will have to keep a watch for this one. Large Volvo SUV, the Volvo Embla. Volvo Cars plans to unveil the production version of the Volvo Concept Recharge and begin production in the US in 2022. Think of it as a zero emission Volvo XC90 alternative and a Tesla Model X competitor. It will look softer than the ICE model and offer way more advanced driver assistance systems. 
Inside, it will have a compact, fully digital instrument cluster and a freestanding touchscreen infotainment system, both running the Android Automotive OS software. The company will introduce a new nomenclature along with this EV. LiDAR will be part of the standard equipment, and Volvo Cars has confirmed this. The new Volvo electric SUV will be the brand's first model named in a new convention, as I mentioned. Instead of a traditional name in which there's a combination of a name and a letter, Volvo Cars will use a proper name. We'll get to know the, the name of this in, in this March, excuse me. so stay tuned for that. But right now, people are guessing it might be called the Embla. All right, and thanks for tuning in to this edition of the EV Revolution Show. Like I said, it was a lot of information to cover. Hope you enjoyed it, and hope you're as excited as I am for this upcoming year in the EV landscape. If you are watching me on YouTube, thank you very much. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And more importantly, if you want to get notified of new episodes, click the notification and that bell as well so that you'll get automatically notified when I push a new episode out. If you are a Patreon supporter, thank you very much. I'm always humbled by your support. Appreciate it very much. If you want more information, you can check out the link below. Again, everybody continue to stay safe. We're still going through round three now of this pandemic. Uh, just got my third booster a few days ago as well. We're all boosted up here and ready to start the new year. Hopefully safe and sound and everybody continue to follow public health guidelines and watch the EV landscape. As you saw, a lot of vehicles that are coming out this year. Boy, I hope I get a hand, at least a handful of them to review this year. I'm very excited about it. So again, thanks very much for watching this show. Everybody stay safe. And until the next show, I will see you when I see you. Take care and bye-bye.